Always try to leave a little part of me off somewhere deep inside you. But the ones that I've been breaking off lately just seem so far from my truth. Well, I watched your eyes both part in tears like they were Moses. And your Savior standing off on distant shores. Wondering if I had ever really noticed the man I was before. If he was there anymore. And I always thought I could predict both our futures from the way your lips went sailing. But my tongue is a rudder too And it sent me off to find another island well, I watched you wish that you had never even met me And for your sake, I guess I wish the same I spent three long days inside of the belly Of a whale of your blame Got my real name. Mm -hmm. And when we're born, tectonic plates move until we grow up to a mountain. Break away our youth But we still dream of it in fountains I'm sorry that I chipped away What makes you strong well, I was searching for myself Beneath your stones But I just found There is no cure for all our longings In a temporary home So I left you alone I woke with your pain Beating hard against my heart Till it went faster And the sky was full of flames And the sun was tossing rays Like God's laughter But how am I supposed to learn To walk on water When I am the only reason For the storm and the only thing that I've called a master Keeps changing its form Since the day I was born Welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Usual. This is The Long Dark. And today we're going to hunt a moose with my bow that I made yesterday. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead. Let me go ahead and, uh, you're going to pop this out. Let me go ahead and kill this. Actually, hang tight. Let me, let me kill this off real quick. 
I got to kill this. I'm going to close that window. There we go. All right. So, good morning, Chad. How you doing, uh, Mr. Brady? James Parkman, Article 5, Canadian Guy 18, Big Run Beast, uh, Alan Kelly, Brina, Love, Ellen, er, Awindale, and Brooklyn Bella. How you guys doing today? Hope you all are having a good morning or afternoon, as the case may be, depending on what side of the pond you're on. All right, so we are here at Timberwolf Mountain. We do know there's a moose. I think we might have to worry about... A, what time is it? It's almost dark, so I'm thinking I'm going to sleep. But wait, how much cat, how much food do I have? I've got 20 cattails. Let's go run out and grab some more cattails. And I'm nice and toasty warm, so let's go ahead and grab some firewood too, maybe. Morning, Matt. How you doing? Got to watch ourselves because we get wolves, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. I'm just going to snatch these up. Hopefully, if things go right, I can drop that moose tomorrow in the morning, and we won't have to worry about food for a minute. Uh, my pl game plan is this. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to drop that moose. Then, uh, using the rest of my arrows, we're going to go ahead, and um, we're going to head over, and we're going to drop that bear. And between the moose and the bear, I should be able to get my cooking up to level 5. And as soon as I get my cooking up to level 5, I can eat both the moose and the bear, because I'm going to be able to eat predator meat once I hit level 5 in cooking. That's the game plan. How many stones do I have? Two? Okay. Now we're just going to eat cattails tonight. And then hopefully it'll be good weather in the morning. Yeah, that is um, Bandages of Time by The Collection. That's a free song you can get on YouTube, YouTube Studio, under uh, Creator Music Beta. Um... Yeah, you can you can actually that's a free a free song you can you can you can get. So, I use only free songs because I don't I don't feel like paying a, a company to to um, charge me for music. So, I got no problem with it, and I probably will buy music later on down the road, but I just can't afford it right now. So, let's go ahead. Let's do the whetstone thing. Let's go ahead. We're gonna need to get our tools as sharp as possible. For this future thing. So let's go ahead and do this. How much water do I have? Did I say I needed water? I think I said I needed water yesterday, didn't I? I do. Uh, we have to start a fire. I don't have a choice. I need water. Can't be helped. I've got nine sticks. What's up, Matt? How you doing, buddy? How's New York treating you? That's two hours. It'll be enough. That'll get us a gallon of water. You know what? I've got a wilderness catching book. Let's go ahead and let's, let's read this. Um... Read this again. All right, I'm hungry, so we have four cattails. See, this is what I'm talking about. Reading is a waste of food. When you're rationing. All right. All right, pick this up. Pick that up. And then I can actually, I, I could probably read for another hour. With what I've got in my stomach. Maybe. Maybe. God damn it. Let's 
Screw it. I'm going to bed. Actually, you know what? No. Actually, it's going to be dark. I'm, I'm not, I can't read in the dark. I almost had that hour, and then and I, I got thirsty, so whatever. It's stupid. Okay, so I'm going to assume that I'm going to have enough temperature. If I die from this cold, I'm going to be bummed. Actually, I need, to, I need to eat some more cattails. Let's do that. Hey, Michelangelo, what's up, man? You saw one of the days of wine and roses last night, and it was incredible. Cool, man. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. All right. What is so damn heavy? Actually, the firewood is. That's okay. I'm debating. That's fine. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. If it does, I'm going to be a dead duck. I think we'll be alright, though. Yeah, I saw the patch notes. Hey, Andrea. How you doing? Josh, hello, hello. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read for a couple hours, I think. Let's go ahead and I'm going to eat some cattails. If, if the fortune is with us, then we should, we should be able to um, meet five cattails. If fortune is with us, we should be able to have moose meat tonight. So I'm just going to eat these cattails so I can read this book. That'll get me to level three in cooking, and then I then I guarantee you I'm gonna uh, I'll I'll get to level five with this moose. All right, that's ten. Let's go ahead and have, have a drink right quick just to make sure I'm topped off. And then I'm gonna read this book for three hours or four hours. All right. Did it not get me to level three? There it is. Okay, level three cooking. Nice. Let's drop that book. There's this tinder plug zoo in here. Okay, looks like we might have a another storm. I'm gonna see if we can uh, if we can knock off a couple of arrows, right quick. It's really cold out. If I can hit this moose a couple times and come back in, we'd be good. Actually, you know what? No. We're going back inside. I don't want to risk it. You know what? No. I do. Josh! Oh my god, I don't have a chicken problem. You have a chicken problem. Thank you so much for that super chat, buddy. Need to be. I, I gotta walk it. Walk this, because otherwise, I'm, I, won't, I need. I need some sprinting uh, ability to get up on that log. I need to be able to double check and make sure that moose is still here. They have a tendency to disappear on you. Hopefully, he's still here. Yeah, I, I know. I Wendell. I'm aware. It's a running joke on this channel. It's tinder plugs. I used to carry I used to carry around a whole bunch of tinder plugs and um, I used to complain about being overweight or over overburdened. I think the moose might be gone. We might have to hang out. No, he's still there. I can see his antlers. He's on the other side of that that, that hill right there. I just gotta make sure the game. I gotta remind the game that I'm here 
so that it doesn't make this uh, this moose disappear. He's right there. back inside. I hope that this uh, weather will clear up, clear up a little bit before uh, it gets dark. And we're going to have to spend another night. I think the moose will stick around. I'm afraid that this blizzard's going to make him disappear, though. We might be okay. for an hour all right it sounds like it, it sounds like the weather's uh, cleared off the wind stopped all right that's you know, we might be good for the rest of the day I hope so we still have flurries but at least the wind stopped we should be able to keep a keep a fire going He's right there by that tree. All right, so I got to figure out a better way. This rock, maybe? Maybe. That's an hour. Let's see if I can get close enough to get his attention. This is not going to be good. This is dangerous as hell. I missed him. Here we go. Go up! Oh shit, I'm dead. No! at me oh they changed the the, the uh, behavior of the moose that's not good
Come on, buddy. Come to me. He's going to take two steps and eat. Two steps and eat. And I'm going to catch hypothermia because of it. Now let's go down and get closer to this fire so I can get warmed up. It's really cold out here. He's coming. It'll just take a minute. He's right there. Gonna have some cattails. I just gotta wait him out. We got plenty of time so long as the, the weather, weather didn't shift. He's getting closer. Alright, I think it's about time for me to get on this log, maybe. I'm crouched, so I don't think he can see me. Come on, buddy. All right, it's time to get back up on this log. I don't feel like getting getting my ribs cracked, you know what I mean? That's a 10-day uh, healing process. Come on, man. There it is. You may not want to get very much closer because of this fire, but we'll see. I might be able to hit him. Missed him. Damn it. Hit him that once. Can't afford to miss him anymore. I only have four, or five more arrows. And it takes four to drop him. So that was our first hit. We need three more. I'm a little bit closer and I'll take the second shot. Slow and steady wins a race with this guy.
Hit him a second time. That's two. I need to go pick up my arrows. I don't know where they are, though. I gotta be careful about this. some coffee on and get ourselves warmed up. I kind of feel like I want to get on that rock. But we need to drink some coffee first. He's coming back though. Uh-oh, wind's kicking up. That's, that's not good. Hang on. I gotta get my coffee in me real quick. getting too close. Come on. Well, yeah, dude. He's on the other side of that tree, I think. There he is. Damn it. There's three. One more should kill him. I'm gonna, I need to go get my, my other arrow. I don't know where it's at, but it's over here so, uh, to my left somewhere. And he's running away, so. And that's good for me right now, because I need to go get that arrow. It's around here. There it is. Cool. And then I know I've got another one over here, too, somewhere. I missed him. Just don't know where it is. It's okay. I retrieved that one. I've got another one over here on the other side, but I don't. I don't want to get too far away from him. I don't see myself finding another place to shoot from. So. I gotta wait for him to come to me. Let's get over here and get warmed up. How much water do I have? Not much. Now, while we're waiting on him, I'm gonna make a birch bark tea. Two birch bark teas. That'll help mitigate the cold. How much longer do I have on this fire? Hour 41? Okay. 
Really, only one more hit is all I need, I think, to drop him. I, don't, I might have missed him that second time, though, so it might, might take two more. I'm just going to sit here next to this fire and get as warm as I can until he gets close enough that I can get back on this log. Morning, Ian. How you doing? North, Coombe. What's up, guys? He should be almost dead. A little closer, buddy. It's a little bit closer. You burn yourself on the fire? That'll happen. You walk over a fire, you can get burned. There he goes, down he went. Got him, got him, got him. Whoop, whoop. Four arrows, guys. That's how, long, how many arrows it takes. Down he goes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, give me my arrow back. Give me my arrows back. Think, think, nope. All right, got, and so now I have, okay, I've got six arrows now. So I'm missing two arrows. I think there's one over there. I think there's one over there. So we got him. I know it wasn't as exciting as some of you might like, might think it should be, but that's okay. I did I did what I needed to do, so that's all that matters. Um, I'm gonna grab torches. I'm just gonna grab all these torches. We're gonna go back into the cabin right now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna carve a couple steaks right quick. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna eat. Um, and then I'll come back out tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna gather some firewood and we'll harvest this moose in the morning. Just takes patience, man. I did. I, I wasn't feeling the. I wasn't feeling that whole. Um, that whole. Uh, what do you call it? Let's see. Let's do that. Thirty, twenty-four, twenty-four. It's really cold. You anyway, know, I wasn't feeling that whole. Um, uh, get, get, um, get uh, my ribs broken thing. Well, I don't know. My brain just went blank for a second. I don't know what that was all about. I'm just tired.
The archer of the winter woods. I mean, you know, it is interloper. You kind of have to be. I picked him up automat picks him up automatically, Coom. That's part of the one of the updates they did. All you have to do is just get into the carcass, and it'll automatically pick up your arrows for you. I've got all my arrows. Now, the ones I lost, I don't know where they are. We'll have to look for them, but I'm not worried about it. I've got six arrows right now. All right, let's go ahead and let's start a fire. I don't have a ton of ton of wood either, so um, that might be an issue. While the steaks are cooking, I'm gonna I may have to go out and get some more firewood. All right, that'll do. I'm going to go out and get some firewood right now, though. Although, you know what? No, it's too cold. I just need enough wood to... Um, to get that hide off of that moose. Actually, I need two hours is what I need for tomorrow. get two hours with a fire we should be good to harvest to to bag that bag that moose up four minutes four minutes all right it's 2,000 calories Let's see some water I'm just I'm just gonna do a half gallon so I need an hour's worth good and I've got 20 sticks for tomorrow that'll be enough for two hours with a fire just to keep the wolves off my ass all right pull a torch okay let's go ahead and eat this Meet this guy. And then we'll drink some water. And then I think I'm good to go for the entire night. Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go for the entire night. This is good. Having a blizzard at night means it's probably going to be clear in the morning. So that's good. I'm happy about that. I'm nice and toasty warm in here, though. It's going to take a little time to get that uh, that moose thawed out, though. That's all right. Ooh, 39. All right, we're going to sleep for... We're going to wait, I guess. Two hours. Sleep for an hour. Hey, Ignacio, how you doing? By the way, hello, Andrea. Pickle. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's... Uh, I'm going to chill out for two hours. All right, we're starting to warm up now. That's good. We'll sleep for another hour. We're going to wait till like noon or whatever. And this is blue sky. If it's blue sky, we'll be good.
Okay, I think we're alright. It's really cold out, but we might be okay. I don't know if these sticks are going to warm it up enough. But I got a quarter of this. I don't, I mean, the moose meat is nice. But I really need that hide, is what I need. Wind's whipping pretty hard, though. I don't know about that. Andrea, thank you so much for that super chat. For a coffee, I'm catching up on the streams. Have you got the dog in the end? What dog? I don't understand. What dog? And the feather. All right, so this guy's frozen. All right, we're just, just use the magnifying glass. Oh, Cornelius! No, Cornelius is not coming home with us. The uh, the 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 stuff that they were asking to, uh, for us to have to do the hoops that they had, we were asking us to jump through weren't worth it. So. No, they didn't call me when they said they were going to call me. Um, they, uh, I emailed them and told them that I that uh, that we were no longer interested in in Cornelius because they want to do a walkthrough in the house, and and the wife doesn't want any strangers in the home. So uh, so that that it was uh, that was a non-starter for us. And um, also, they want four hundred dollars for Cornelius, whereas I can go to the I can go to the shelter, and the only thing they require is a meet and greet with Zeus with the other dog to make sure that they're going to get along. Um, so uh, these, the, the, the demands that these people were making were absolutely unacceptable. I'm just going to do all this, guys. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. They can keep it. They can keep, they can keep corny. All right, so, okay, we're, we're okay, this is going to take a minute for this to get thawed out so let's go ahead and let's go and grab some more firewood right quick Yeah, a dog from the from the animal shelter is only two hundred seventy-five dollars. Cornelius was going to be four hundred bucks. So we're just keeping we're going to keep our eyes up at, at the uh, at the shelter. Um, so. We'll adopt a dog, but it but it, it it's going to be it's probably going to be a while. You never know what they're going to have. Yeah, the terrier. That was a terrier. Yeah. Seventy-four. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water. I think. Oh shit! Mom, like the cooking pots are back at the cabin. Hang tight. There are 175 here. I live in Colorado. Cost of living is way higher. It's probably double uh, um, compared to someplace like Ohio or Nebraska or something. To give you a benchmark, what do you pay for a pound of cheese, Chad? I mean, sorry, two pounds of cheese. A big block of cheese. What do you pay for it? Or what do you pay per pound for cheese? We pay $8 a pound for cheese here. And uh, let's see, 
your average steak or, or you know, like beef is going to run you about eight bucks a pound as well. Eight to twelve, depending on the cut you get. Chicken's two bucks a pound. I mean, it was one. It was a dollar a pound back in the day, but. Um, then Biden uh, uh, became president and everything went up. Everything went up. I'm not saying it's his fault, but everything went up in the last four years. But we also, we, they also raised our minimum wage to like 1465 or something. So. Whereas a lot of a lot of those states are still at like seven bucks an hour or something, like eight bucks an hour or something like that. We're almost double the national minimum wage. No, not craft singles. I'm talking about blocks of cheese. Fifty-three. All right, so I can go ahead and uh, we can do water while I'm doing this. I can do this batch of water. That's gonna take two hours. Twelve bucks a pound for a good steak? Yeah. Okay, so it's the same price. Beef is the same price. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to quarter this guy. Here we go. Two hours. Let's go ahead and use the hatchet. Three ninety-five for a gallon of gas. Uh, it's, a, it's a little cheaper for us. Um, well, and that's not true. It's about That's about right. Um, but... The, what it is for us is, um, like, I, I, I shop at a grocery store that has a gas station, and then what you get is you get a penny for every $10 you spend off of gallon, a gallon of gas. Um, up to a certain amount. So, like, we always get gas at the end of the month. And like, if I spend 300 bucks. If I spend 300 bucks at the uh, at the store, I'll get 30 cents off a, ga a, a gallon one time up to 25 gallons or up to 30 gallons, something like that. So we wait till the end of the month. We fill up the tank. And then, so like if it's, you know, three dollars and 30 cents, then it's really only three, three bucks a gallon for us. So but we have to shop at that store. Um, but it's closest to the house, so we pr that's our primary store that we go to anyway. But you know they jacked the prices up just because of that. Just to compensate. Even if it's only a couple, a couple of cents here and there, they're making their money back big time. It's really, it really doesn't balance out, but... You've been selling Colorado for a while. Things are cheaper there. As far as you're concerned, you can handle it at the extreme elevation you'd be in Colorado. Yeah, we're higher. Uh, where I'm at is higher than Denver. And Denver's the mile high city. So, um, but the town I live in is actually higher than Denver in elevation. All right. We got our moose hide. Drop that, drop all these guts. Now it's just a matter of getting our, 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 our steak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop everything right here. Drop all my, all my sticks. Um, we're gonna drop, let's put all this stuff in a drawer. Put these down here. All right, we're just going to slap everything in here that I don't need.
Bear with me. The wind's whipping too much for a, for a torch, so we're just going to get all our torches out of here. All right, we're at 24 pounds. That should make me light enough. I should be able to carry a couple of bags at a time. Maybe three bags. Let's see, 20 pounds a piece, so... If I carry two bags, I'm still under. Shit. That's a wolf. Killed them both. Nothing to harvest. Now, when I carried that meat, it, it brought the wolf over. I shot him though, so he'll be dead in a minute. All right, I can do three. It's only gonna take us two trips. He got there because when I grabbed the when I grabbed the guts and I grabbed the um, the hide, he smelled it and he came around the corner and he came up and over that ridge. He was following my scent, and then he saw the rabbits and he killed the rabbits. So we're gonna yank this rabbit too. I'm already at. Hang on. I better do this, just in case. There's more than one wolf here, so... And it's too windy for a torch. Uh, Andrea, yeah, I was told it does give you a smell bar. But you can drop it pretty quick, so... It takes a little bit of time to, to, to put... Fuck me. Oh, God. Dude, he was right there. See? They're on my ass now. This is not good. All right, so we're going to have to wait for a minute. Hang on. I'm going to wait for a second. We're going to wait for an hour. If this wind dies down, I can grab a torch and we'll be safe, but I'm going to wait for this wind to die. All right. There we go. All right. I think we should be good. Let me grab a couple torches right quick. Two should do. What is that over there on the ice? Oh, that's a wolf I shot. Okay, so we got dead wolf over there. I'll be okay for a minute. We're going to need some more firewood, though. I'm just glad those wolves don't come in the cabin. All right, this would be the last three bags, and we should be set. Well, there's four bags. I got to take another trip. That's fine. I think. I might be able to carry all four. Yeah, we're going to just take it. It's going to be a slow going, but I think the torch will, will save me. We're going to have wolves on our ass by the time we get home, but I've got two 44 percenters, so should be good enough. And I've got some stones on me, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Well, I've got my bow anyway, so it didn't matter. Not bad. 
took me a little longer than I wanted it to 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 to, uh, to shoot him, but I've done crazy before, and I didn't feel like doing crazy today because that has gotten me broken ribs more times than not. I'm getting more careful in my old age. But I, I'm calling the wolves right now because I've got triple smell bar. And there's at least two more wolves around here. They're going to be on my ass. But the torch will keep them away, so we should be good. The wind was slowing me down. Well, I'm overburdened right now, big time. I'm super heavy. But I didn't want to make a third trip. We're doing okay, though. I got plenty of food. We got enough food to wait out the, uh, the 12 days it's going to take to... Um, to cure that hide. My cooking skill right now is three. I don't think I need to micro this thing. I think I'm going to be able to just cook it and, and get myself to five. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I got, let me go ahead and grab that rabbit. Let's go ahead and drop these guys. They're at 56% right now. Oh, no, no. What are you doing? All right. Let's go ahead and start a fire. I'm going to boil water while I'm doing this. What do you mean 850, Alex? Will I go harvest that wolf too? Probably. i got a couple days before I need to worry about that though. hours out of this. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually I'm going to grab this moose quarter. We're going to do an hour's worth. Yeah. That will give me enough meat to get through whatever I got to do. All right, so let's put that down. No, come on. Okay, that's good, and we can go ahead and cook up a, a moose meat. That'll be an hour. And then 42 minutes to boil. We got 59 minutes here. 57 for that. All right, so that's exactly what I need for that. Now we can just get serious about this. minutes. It's 15 minutes. Leave that be how it is. Drink my water. 
Alright. Where's my cooking at right now? Okay. I'm gonna try to micro, I think. I was I said I wasn't going to, but I think I might. If, it, if you can micro, I don't know if you can if you can micro. Um, forty, forty. I don't know if you can micro anymore. Carcass harvesting two. That's good. Drop that. Drop that. And then let's see if we can. Let me see. Huh. So it won't let you. It won't let you. What a bummer. What day are we on? I'll check in a second. Probably day 30, I'm thinking. 27. Alright. 48% frozen. Oh, God. Am I cold? I'm not cold. I may not be able to harvest this. It may be too cold. Wow. So the longer... Or the more frozen it is, the longer it takes you to, to, um, to harvest it. Uh, we're going to finish this in the morning. That's my percentage. I'm at 49% right now. We're going to finish these last couple of bags in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and eat and drink and go to bed. Yeah, no micro no, no micro m micro harvesting. That's really really that's a bummer. Uh, whatever. That's fine. Hopefully I don't get too cold. Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, I got three bags. So this is frozen completely. Oh, no, hour and two. Okay, hour and two minutes. That's fine. So in three hours, I'll have all this harvested. Then we'll go out and get some more firewood, and we'll start cooking up some food. I'm full health, so I'm good. Yeah, I guess they didn't like it that you could take a, a single bear and um, and get to level five cooking. Whatever. It's not. It's not. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it is a bummer. It does mean I sh I do need to read books though. All right. We're talking about uh, 15 hours just for the just for those three bags, and I what I had seven bags or something like that. So it's going to take. That's a lot, dude. That's a lot of that's a lot of uh, pieces of meat you got to do. 
Yeah, it's it is a bummer. Especially when you're used to it. It's like you should never take something away from a player. Um I mean, they had it this, that way for years. I don't understand why they changed it. All right. All right I guess we'll go out. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. Put this outside. It'll last a little longer out there. See, I need firewood. And I know we've got a wolf floating around here because I smell. Or I was smelling. I hear him walking around. There he is. Punk! Perfect. My rabbit. We'll get the arrow out of this other wolf. Oh yeah, big boy. Come my way. I mean, there's more than one way to just skin a rabbit. Or a deer, for that matter. There he goes. There he goes. He's got that rabbit on his, in his sights. Perfect. I missed him. Shit. He might, he might grab that, that deer, though. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Maybe. He's going after it. I might, ha I might have a, a, better, a second chance here. Hang on. But my torch is going to die. i got to hurry. Oh, I'm not chasing him that far. Screw that. We're going back. I gotta grab a couple more torches and we'll come back. Yeah, it's just gonna take like a dozen uh, bear or, or or moose to to. Uh, to get to level five cooking without a book. That's all. It's irritating, but whatever, it's fine. We'll get around it. All right, let's go ahead and um, grab our torches. Drop our, our rabbits.
We're going after that wolf. I don't think he's finished off that deer yet. I'm sure he caught it. But they're way the heck over there where the bear is. I gotta watch out for the bear now. But if I hunt down this last wolf, I think all of them are dead that are on this lake. There's only like three of them. I just gotta find him. Take him out. You wonder if cooking the more complex recipes gives more XP? I don't know. I'm not sure to tell you the truth. That's a very good question. Okay, we're going to follow the tracks. They went this way. And there he is. Got him. Archery two, baby. All right, so come on. Oh, really? You're going to do that to me? I can't get into him. Try that. I can't get into this deer. That's so stupid. That's that's a bug for sure. Wait, there it is. There it is. Um, let's go ahead and grab. Let's grab the hide. I don't need the guts. We we'll use our hands. I've got all those guts from the moose. I don't really need the meat either. But I definitely don't want to get attacked by a wolf because... Because I was harvesting without a fire. I think we're good. I don't think there's any other wolves that are in close enough proximity to actually show up. I think we got them all. Yeah, the bear would have been a pain in the ass. And there he is right there. No, I think. No, maybe not. He should have been down here by now. This is part of his little his little circuit that he walks. But I think we're okay for now. It should be fairly fairly safe to do all the harvesting. Got a deer hide. I'm gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna head back out right quick and we're gonna get some limbs so I can do some cooking. Cause we need some water too. Then I'll harvest his rabbits tonight before we go to bed. Cause I can harvest them in the dark. So this is not too bad on the temperature. Let's go ahead and let's get this limb. Get a couple of limbs, that'd be nice. Oh, God dang it. Come on, man. That's lame. Lame. All right, well, well we have enough to do what we got to do tonight, I guess. Let's grab a, let's get a steak. That's enough for the night. And we'll boil some water. Should have enough to do a steak, boil some water, and make some er some birch bark tea and some herbal tea. I'll be full health when I get, when I get get up in the morning. That's fine. All right, hour and two. Let's do two, three. That's three hours. That'll give me that water. Let's go ahead and let's cook up this steak. And we'll pick up two more steaks. They're an hour apiece. And I'm going to harvest these rabbits too while we're at it. So that's an hour. That's two hours. So let's go with an 
hour's worth of whatever it is. That's 13 minutes. That's fine. minutes there so that's 53 minutes so that steak will be done and then slap another one on finish this rabbit up Then we'll go ahead and we'll grab the guts off of this one. That's 15 minutes. The meat is another eight minutes. That's a, he must have been chewing on that one. And then this one is 40 minutes, right? So we should, it shouldn't burn. I think we should be okay. All right, cool. Go ahead and grab that. Um, grab that. How much more time do we got? We got another hour. So let's do, let's do, let's cook. Let's do a batch of water here a batch of water here the same amount so that's going to give me another half gallon and we'll add in just a couple of sticks that will carry us over let's go ahead and drop the hides and the guts right here i still don't have enough for a rabbit hat i think i need four don't i i need one more rabbit don't i oh i only need three all right, so we've got it. We've got what we need for a rabbit skin hat. That's great. So we're going to make that when we make the moose hide satchel. So that should be we, everything should be cured by the time we need to worry about that. So that's good. Now, what's my cooking level at right now? Because I just I'm going to uh, yeah. See, it's it's going to be a while, man, before we get level five cooking. So no micro no micro harvesting now. So. Uh, later, Matt. Take it easy, bud. Hey. All right. Should have cooked up. You know what? Shoot. Let me do this. Let's go ahead and do water. Boil water. I'm going to cook the steak. And then I need two hours worth. I think I got this. Some, give some water. I'm going to eat too, so I don't lose any more health. Let's go ahead and cook up. Um, uh oh. 
What's going on here? Do I not have any birch bark? Ready? I guess I don't. Let's go ahead and make some birch bark. What? Oh, it's in here. That's why. And my herbal tea's in there, too. My water boiled away. No! I still have 0.86 though. They were good. Alright, so we got, I'm going to pull that torch. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and drink four herbal teas, if I can. We'll have to play, play this out though. This will give me eight hours of, of renewed. Rejuvenation. And then we'll drink the herbal tea. And we should have enough calories to last the night. Let's go ahead real quick. I want to drop this meat, this cooked meat. And this raw meat right here. All right. That's good. Now we can go ahead and crash out for nine hours. And we should be full health. Between the herbal tea and the birch bark tea, we should be full health in the morning. Bam! Just like that. All right. Okay, so we're, we're back where we need to be. That's not bad. Except my freaking cooking, dude. Is where. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we get to level 5. There's really not much I can do about it except read books. So, any of these, cook, uh, these cooking books, Woodlander's Kitchen books that we can do, we're going to do. We're at 18% cured on that. 15 on that. That one's 51%. These are 11%, 36% on that. So we've got about, well, we need, we're going to have to have at least, at least another week hanging out here. So. I guess I'm going to just chill for a minute. Do two hours. Hey, Dana, or Dana. Yeah, I already have the technical backpack, and we're, we're, in the, we're in the process of making the Moosehide Satchel right now. That's what we're doing. So, yeah, I've already got the technical backpack, plus 11 pounds. Let's go get that uh, angler cookbook right quick. Or, uh, the angler book, I mean, for fishing. really all we can do is cook, read, and eat right now. I'm not going to get that, 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 that wolf. We're, not, we're just going to let him rot. The longer his body stays there, the, the longer it'll take for another wolf to spawn in. So we're just going to leave him there. All right, there's this guy. Empty, empty. Take those driving gloves for leather. Same with the other wolf that's over there. And whichever, I don't know where that other wolf went, but... It's okay. You got parasites from it? Yeah, but I have a bunch of antibiotics on me right now. So even if, if that happened, I would need 
what, 20 antibiotics? Because it's a 10-day gig, right? Here in Interloper, I have 6, 12, 18, 22, 28 antibiotics right here. So I've got plenty of antibiotics just in case that happens. So I'm good. I'm set. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to... Let's go out and let's eat a steak. By the way, this is fresh, right? Yeah, okay, good. All right, I'm going to read this book. And then we'll go out and get firewood. I need water. It should be warm by the time I finish this book. Cabin fever risk. God dang it, boy. All right, fishing two. All right, let's go get some firewood. Actually, actually I can leave this open. They never come in here, so. All right, that's one arrow down or two arrows down. That's fine. The weather shouldn't shift. We just got done with a bad storm, so. I should be able to get a couple of these limbs to get us set up for the night. Or not. <laughs> That's a rare event indeed, me reading? Yeah, it is. But hey, man, we got to stick around until this pelt's gone, or pelt is fixed. I, we could go to another map, to be honest, you know? We could. the bear I could try to drop him I can't eat his meat but I could make a coat out of his stuff how many arrows do I have no I don't know that I I mean you know what I, I would have enough and then his cave would be open to me if I killed him oh, he's walking the other way though that's fine How warm is it in out here? What is that? Is it not allowing that? So that's 27. It's too cold for me to do that. I'm gonna. I need a fire. So, um, I'm gonna leave the bedroll here for right now. We're gonna lose a little bit of temp, but that's okay. Go inside and get warmed up. Did I not get that arrow? I thought I got that arrow already. I'm pretty sure I got that arrow already. No, I didn't. 
Good call. Good call. All right, let's go over here and grab this this um, sapling that's over here. Actually, it, the temperature is good enough for me to get a limb. Let's do that first. Firewood's more important. Why does it do that to me every time? Okay, we're going to hold off on, um... On burning firewood. I've got enough water for another day, so we're not going to burn firewood tonight. I've got six pieces here. I may have to, if I get ca cabin fever, I may have to sleep out uh, in the in the shack. So I want as much firewood as I can to keep me warm at night. Uh, to sleep out at the fishing shack. So, so we can stay out there for 24 hours. So that's a game plan right now. Um, I do have one more uh, one more steak. It's going to get dark in a second. So we're going to eat this one. 23%. And cabin fever risk is half. We're probably going to catch cabin fever. So I need I need to sleep uh, I need to chill out for an hour. And then we're going to go out here right quick and grab another limb. That one disappeared. Of course it did. All right, we're gonna take take a hit right quick, but I need this extra firewood. Gonna get a lot cold. Yeah. All right. We should be able to sleep one more night, and then we'll probably catch cabin fever. That's an, we have enough firewood though to last us a full night in the in the shack now, so that's what we need. Got a plan for the future, man. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Drink our water. And then we'll crash out for nine hours. And we're probably going to catch cabin fever right now in the morning. Maybe not. Okay, so it went down. That's so weird. I don't feel like losing any more health than I have to, so. We're going to go out and get some sticks. Because we're full health. It's foggy, but that's okay. No torches on me? Yeah, okay. We're good. We need to be out as long as much as we can. Keep our cabin fever risk down. And I want as much as much firewood as I can get my hands on. I'm not gonna break down any any, any branches, but we're gonna pick up just sticks. There should be a bunch over here. I hope I'm hoping for some more birch bark too. I want this guy because I'm going to have broken arrows in a minute.
I need to search for my other arrows. It's actually pretty warm this morning. It's only two arrows down instead of three. I'm going pretty far afield to get sticks, though. All right, we're good. You finish fish check when you get the river. Yeah, that's why I'm collecting firewood, because I'm I'm expecting to get um uh I'm expecting to get cabin fever. So I want to have enough firewood to last me 12 hours so I can I can last the night. It wouldn't hurt to catch some fish too. Well, the cave would be nice, but I got to go clear across to the other to the other clearing. And to do that, I'm going to have to go past some wolves. And, and I, 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 I'm going to have to have a fire anyway because the wolves will come in the cave. So either way, it's six to one half dozen to the other. The only, the only benefit, the only extra added benefit of that is, um, is that I'll have two cook spots instead of one. Because at campfire, I'll have two. But the stove uh, at the uh, shack only has one. So that's the only, that's the only difference. I'm going to ha still have to have a fire no matter what. Otherwise, the, the wolves will come in. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Unless I kill that bear and take over his cave before he re respawns, the wolves won't come that far. Unless I smell. But I don't feel like harvesting a whole bear right now. We're going to stay out until we almost get hypothermia, and then I'm going to go back inside. I'm just going to keep my eye on my, on my stats. We'll just keep collecting. Most of my gear's in the, in the hole in the, in the cabin, so I'm pretty light. I'm, I'm, I'm actually only at 35 pounds out of 77, so I, I can carry a lot right now. We can collect all kinds of stuff. Like I said, I don't want to start a fire unless I absolutely have to, but we're almost out of water, so I'm going to have to do that anyway tonight. All right. Just got to watch ourselves. If I stay out today, most of the day, we should be okay for one more day. And these cattails will, keep, will help mitigate when I don't want to start a fire. Is this? Hey, baby. All right. More firewood. I'm going to go check for uh, feathers over here, though. I didn't see any crows above him, but there might be some There might be some feathers here. Nope. Sure isn't. Do I have fishing gear yet? Not yet. I'm waiting for those for those uh, guts to cure. As soon as they cure, I'll make, some, I'll make some line. I've got hooks on me, but I don't have any fishing line. So I need those guts. And I don't have any more reclaimed wood. I, I think I burned it all, so I can't make any snares. Love that double up on those sticks.
That's great. Uh, I'll grab this just in case. A little bit of tea never hurt. going to strip this whole area. It won't have anything of worth when I'm done. Okay, I'm still good, doing good on hypothermia risk. We can sleep for an hour or two and we can get rid of that. So I'm not worried about it. Also, what's our clothing looking like? It's not wet because we're not in a storm. So we should be okay. Just got to watch out for the bear. Others. It's foggy as hell out here. All right, I don't like the fog. Let's strip all these cattails. Can't wait for a bunny hat or a bear coat. We got a bunny hat coming. I've got enough guts to do a bunny hat, do some line uh, for fishing, and also for our our moose hide satchels. So that moose provided 12 guts. Plus, I've got a couple guts from the rabbits. So I've got probably 14, 15 guts, I think. All right, let's head back. Let me grab these cattails. I'll grab all these cattails. Yeah, p perfect example of when you turn your back and turn around, things spawn in. I don't want to lose any more health than this. we got to get back inside. Not even about the hypothermia right now. It's about losing health. As soon as I get all these cattails. This is my, my rainy day fund, just in case. Satchel will be huge. And we're going to get it by day 30. No, no, not day 30. Day 35 or day 40. So that's not too bad. All right. Did I pass the, the cabin? I passed the cabin. Did I? God dang it, man. I hate this so much. Hang on. Or did I not? No. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Close that door. 29% cured on the on the moose moose hide. Um, guts. Do we have any guts that are cured yet? 58%, 34%. So no. Okay, so how many sticks did I get? 26. So I've got like 30 sticks. And I've got like 10 pieces of, of firewood. That's good. That's pretty good. How many cattails did I get? 42 cattails. All right, so I'm gonna eat two cattails just to keep me from losing any more health right now. I probably don't even need to worry about that, but we're gonna drink some water. And then we're gonna sleep for an hour. No, we'll just wait for an hour. How about that, get warmed up. 
All right, so our hypothermia risk is low, but not too bad. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's chill for another hour. I want that fog to go away. There it is. I think we're okay with the wolf situation. I don't think I have to worry about them right now. Like I said, I want to leave their bodies as, as long as I can so they don't respawn. Now let's go this way. We got two down. I think I'm going to get one more cedar limb right now. All right, that's perfect. Just planning for the future, yo. That's all we're doing. Got to play the long game here. All right, and I'm going to chill out for another hour. We should be able to get one more limb. I think that limb disappeared, though. No, we're hit still here. All right. Perfect. I should have enough firewood to be able to cook up some moose meat and boil some water tonight. Oops, no, don't want that. Chill out for one more hour. And then one more limb. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more limb. Then we're gonna go in and we'll be able to we'll be able to cook up some food, drink some water, or boil some water. There we go, there's a limb up there, I see it. We'll lose a little bit of health, but we'll get all that back. Yep, perfect. Alright. We did pretty good today. Today was a good day for gathering. We were out most of the day, so I mean our cabin fever risk should be going down. All right, let's go ahead and grab, oh, I don't know, three pieces of meat. Okay, I'm gonna gather everything up right quick. I wanna see what I, I'm gonna do in inventory right quick. Time to do inventory for the, on the store. All right, so we have 17, we have 20 pieces of firewood. Each one of those is, um, well, fur is long, it's an hour and a half and whoops. And th so I've got 17 hours here, and I've got um, four and a half hours here. So 21 and a half hours, is that right? And then each one of these is 10 minutes. So 32 divided by six is that's five hours there. So we've got about 24 hours of firewood right here. So that's good. Let's go ahead and let's... Um, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, guys, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, if you will. And if I earn your subscription, don't forget to hit, hit that bell icon for notifications. All right, so we're going to go, I'm going to use the fur firewood first, I think. Let's say it's an hour and 43. So we're going to do two of those. That's three hours. That's going to be enough for me to cook up the three steaks that I have. So we'll cook this up. Let's go ahead and let's hit this water. I can do a batch and a half of water. Um, I really don't have anything else that I can do right now. We're getting really close to being able to make our, our rabbit a hat. 44% um, on that deer hide. 33% on the moose hide. Um, what do I have in here? Can I do anything? I, I can break that down. Let's do that. Um, 
I have a birch bark ready to go. And I think I've got... I, I've got some fuel here. Let's see. I don't need any coffee right now. Oh, I've got almost a gallon of water I didn't know. I forgot about. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and sharpen our tools, though. We'll start with this one. We'll grab that one, too. So let's go ahead and, break, let's go ahead and sharpen our tools. That's what we'll do. It's a good time. What I'm doing, Coom. I saw it right before I read your your comment. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna eat that. And I'm actually also gonna cook up this birch bark. And let's go ahead and um, let me check this right quick. I think. Yep, I sure do. All right, that's for tonight. Do I have any more birch bark I can make? I don't. Just reishi mushrooms. I can make two of those. Let's do that. Three minutes of boiled. We'll do that. I have an hour and a half left. You know what? Let's go ahead and do another batch of water. And let's add a few sticks to make it two hours. There we go. And then we'll cook up this meat. And we'll sharpen. again. I'm going to use the last of this whetstone and we still have another 100% whetstone. That broke. Oh, I've got a 60% too? Alright, so I had three whetstones on me. That's great. Super stoked. Okay, that's done. I'll cook this up. 37 minutes till boiled. These are taking nine minutes at a pop. That's 18 minutes. 27. And one more and the water will be boiled. Cool, cool. Go and I'm gonna do. I'm just. I'm just gonna do. We'll do a birch bark tea. That one's done. I got 14 minutes left. That's good. We're gonna go ahead and call that a day. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and finish up this sharpening. Okay, that's going to be good enough. Um, so our tools are sharpened. I still have five arrows out of the eight that I started with. Let's shove this in a drawer and get rid of it. Where is it? Yeah, this one. There it goes. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and... I guess, let's check our... So your cabin fever risk is going down because we were outside all day, which is great. So that's that's good. Let's go ahead and let's um I'm gonna shove these cattails in here. We're gonna eat meat tonight. We'll plop this other one down. Save its durability if I can. Still might make me sick. 
like I said, though, we have, we have, I've been, I've been collecting reishi mushrooms. We've got plenty of um, antibiotics, so if I get sick, it's not going to be a big deal. I've got three, uh, so I've got 12, 18, 22, 28, 31 antibiotics on me right now. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead and let's drink our, our herbal tea and our... And our birch bark tea. Finish off with a little bit of water. I'm going to drop the rest of the water. I'll pick up some in the morning. Actually, I'll pick up two right now. I'll give me a half gallon on me. All right, then we're going to be able to go nine hours. We should be good. Yeah, I'll break those down in a minute. Coom. Okay. Cabin fever risk again, of course. That's okay. Storm is over. Let's have a little drink. And then we can go ahead and break down those gloves. So once again, what we're going to do is we're going to see where I'm at. 39%, 77% on the guts. We're going to be able to get some fishing line here pretty quick. 86. That's cured. We're going to put this in here. Put that leather in here. Let's see, I'm going to drop this firewood because I don't need it. I was just curious what I had. So we still have 18 pieces there, 27 here. So we're going to drop. You know what? I might... How heavy is that? 18, 20, how much... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put the firewood in here. That way I don't have to pick it all up. I can just transfer it. That'd be a lot easier. Oh, the birch bark, birch, birch bark sapling I need to drop. God dang it, boy. Forgot all about that. All right, cool. We're going to stuff, stuff these uh, sticks in here as well. Because I've got the, well, I've got the room for it. I may as well. All right, and drop this tinder plug because I don't need it. Yeah, down or inside the hut. Yes, it is. It is cold, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to sleep for another two hours. All right, now we're good. Head back out. So, I'm going to go. Actually, you know what, guys? I just realized it's been two hours. I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, so, uh, right now, guys, we are at 40% uh, on the moose hide, 58% on the deer hide. We've got a bunch of guts that are going to be uh, going to be curing in the next day. Um, same with the rabbit pelts. So those are going to be done in the next day. So, uh, next next stream we're going to be making a rabbit hat we're going to be uh hopefully uh we'll in two, two hours of gameplay i should be able to get the moose hide done and get the moose hide satchel finished once we do we're going to head probably head down the hill and we're going to continue along our way uh because i don't think that um that i'm going to be able to get to level five cooking um we might i might just i might just burn up all the firewood that we've got and just cook all the moose meat and see how far we can get and then we're probably going to head down the hill that's probably what we're going to do in the next live stream, guys. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you very much for coming in. This will be the only live stream today. And I might be taking tomorrow and Monday off. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So keep your eyes open on the Discord. If you don't know where my Discord is, the link is down in the description. Feel free to join, uh, join us. And, um, and uh, my mods would be more than happy to help you out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. As I always say, I am my usual me, be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.